Kogo, what the heck? What is that stuff called? Coconut Earth. Hey guys, it's Amanda from Man Loves Animals and I'm super excited to introduce you to my two newest additions. I did film yesterday when I got them um, and I was going to film like that part and then add on today's part when I was able to get more information about them. Um, but I decided to just do it in all one day. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about yesterday and what happened and catch you up there. And I'm going to show you right now what I got. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I adopted two hermit crabs yesterday. I was just able to sex them and it worked out because the names that I wanted for each of them um, worked out with their genders. So this little friend is a boy and super cute. Like look, the little guy. And this one actually switched shells last night, which is really nice. Like, look at those colors, so pretty. I haven't had a red purple pincher like that in a long time. And you may see this and think that it's a strawberry hermit crab, but it is not. It is a purple pincher. It's just very red. So the names that I've come up with uh, for this one, she's a girl, and her name is going to be Rosie. I think it fits her really well. And then this little guy is going to be Nevin, um, because the shelter that I work at is called Nevin's Farm. And I think it fits him well because this is where I got him. And it was the first time I was able to adopt from my own shelter. So basically the other day on the volunteer page from my shelter, basically where we post updates and everything and just information, this woman commented saying that she had two hermit crabs that she was going to put up for adoption and just kind of wanted to know where to bring them because we don't really get hermit crabs and stuff like that. And she was like, I'm going to be bringing them in, but I just wanted to see if anyone on here wanted them first before I brought them over. And I got like 10 comments saying, Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. So I was like, yeah, I definitely need to get these on my hand. So I met up with her at the shelter yesterday and she handed them over. She said that they were her nieces and she had left them behind with her and she didn't know anything about them, um, but she just knew they were alive, which was kind of a weird thing to say. So they came in a 10 gallon. They had Eco Earth and a house um sponges and pellet food unfortunately but they did have natural shells it wasn't the worst condition you know I've seen but the sponges and pellet food weren't you know the best obviously as we know but they were in pretty good health and I've checked them over and everything like that and they seem really healthy which is good last night they came in and they were super happy they were meeting all the other crabs and all the crabs were chirping all night and I woke up this morning and they were all in the same hut it was so cute and they really loved having fresh food for the first time because um, I've assumed that they've been on pellets their whole life while that they were in captivity. Um, but they are very uh, close. Like, they like to go with each other everywhere. You know, they were interested in interacting with the rest of the crabs, but they're, like, besties, as you can see. They're so cute, though. So, yeah, um, I'm really excited, and I hope that you guys will like to see them. Um, I'm thinking about doing an updated hermit crab video, like who I have for hermit crabs. I haven't done one of those in a long time. And a lot of my hermit crabs are up now, basically all of them except for one. And the one that isn't up, she's not molting, she's just underground. She goes underground all the time. She is a Ecuadorian and they like to bury a lot. So she's not really, you know, molting. So pretty much everyone is up. It, um, this makes a full tank. Nine would make a full tank based on the size of the other crabs and everything like that. And it's really exciting because I love having full tanks. I think it's so fun with all of them interacting and playing and it's adorable. Um, the tank's been super active the past day and it's really great. Um, but I just wanted to show you them. I think they're super pretty and they're really friendly. I haven't had any issues with pinching or anything like that. Of course, they were a little nervous the first day. But um, they're really sweet and they've actually warmed up a lot in the past uh, day. So, yeah, we've got Nevin and Rosie. Let me know what you think of the names and if you think they're adorable like I do. And I'll see you in my next video. Remember, just because you got the pet doesn't mean you're all set. Educate before it's too late.